Hey Capricorns, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is your love reading for the rest of 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Happy birthday to all my December Cappies out there. Uh, so Capricorns, for those who are new to my channel, I just dive right in to my meditative session. Um, keep in mind for those who are relatively new or don't really understand how energy works or maybe need a little guidance on what signs to watch or how to interpret what I'm saying or just some basic guidelines, um, I have a link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. So please go ahead and check that out. So Capricorns, let's get right into your meditative session. So Capricorns is going to be a heavy one again. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. It's it, I got a lot of heavy shit, but I feel like it's actually very empowering. I feel like it's really empowering. I know you guys got a lot of heavy readings for the last like few months. It feels like, honestly. Um, but I like it though. I, I really love this energy. I, I actually really love this energy for you. So I could tell with what I was getting that some of you guys are in different places in the process. Okay. There's a process going on of closing out a cycle, like a major fucking cycle and going into a new one. For some of you, it's purely um, between, like, it's purely about your growth and just battling your inner demons a little bit and your own, um, your own stuff, your own stuff, okay? Others is actually a cycle that you're in with another person or many people, okay? So keep that in mind as I go and give these messages. So like I said, you're in different places here. Some of you are already in this new beginning. You've closed out that stuff. Some of you are still closing this out. So let's just start from there and transition into what I was getting for this new, the new, for the new, okay? So I like, I honestly have this energy of like a boxing match. So maybe some of you guys are boxers or maybe you just feel like you've had to fight okay uh like i said this can be about your own inner shit just between you and yourself um breaking some karmic patterns or you know dealing with some wounding there um others it's about a cycle between you and another person someone who's in that ring with you or or an energy within that ring so to speak i speak in metaphor sometimes i have to to make sense of some of this stuff um that represent multiple people like your family or your social circle hell even your your workplace okay so capricorns those of you in this boxing match, you're tired. You're so tired. Like, you know, when you like for those who've played sports or who watch sports, it's like if you have like a long game and it's like you start off good, you know, and like you just you just play your game, right? And it's like maybe it gets a little intense. Maybe it's been neck and neck the whole time. No matter how intense your fight has been within this cycle, you're getting to that point where it's like, all right, universe point, final point overtime whatever whatever phrasing you want to use right and it's that moment where it's like you've had to give so much or it's been so hard or it's been exhausting for whatever reason or another and it's like it's that final moment where you give it all you got like it's that final juice moment of this is it like <laughs> like the game is about to end the cycle is about to end how am I going out how am I going out of this cycle am I going out empowered am I taking out that other energy like, you know, your inner shit, that person or the energies of multiple people that you're dealing with? Um, or am I going to let it, am I going to let it get to me? Am I going to let it get to me to the point where I got to do this shit over again, right? Um, it's that kind of intense energy. And I do feel like, you know, when you get to that point, again, for those who play sports, right? I don't play sports anymore, but I used to. I actually been wanting to get back into a sport. Just, you know, my life's been crazy for the last year. Anyway. When you get to that, like that universe point, when you get down to like those final moments, those like final minutes, those final seconds, it's like sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you get that huge little boost. And for some, but for some, it just comes from adrenaline, right? Other, it comes from sheer force and will, right? To really like, no, I'm going to fucking win this or I'm going to go out with a bang, right? And I do feel for a lot of you, that's just out of frustration or even anger. A lot of you are really close to finishing a cycle and you don't know it. Don't give up just yet. Okay, don't give up just yet. I can feel it. Some of you guys are like, I, 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 I'm I, tapping out. Like, this is not how, like, I'm tapping out. This is too hard or it's not turning out the way I want it to or whatever the reasoning is that's making you want to just be like, can I just tap out now? You're so close. Don't. You're so close. Don't do that. Um, those of you who are out of this cycle, who finished your your match, your game, your your rounds, whatever you want to call it, um, I actually heard. Um, it's it was so intense when I heard it. I was like, oh shit, born of injustice. I know. It's like, okay, like it like <laughs> it just like it just got so serious. Like when I heard that, like born of injustice. Okay, uh, and I felt like very heavy fire energy with that Capricorn. Um, I feel like you're coming into a new cycle that maybe has made you feel, um, how do I say this? It's new, 
but it's almost like like your new path has been paved with injustice which i'm not saying you did anything wrong i'm not saying that keep in mind guys when i talk about meditative energy it's energy that i pick up in and around you so it could be something that you're experiencing directly or it could be someone who's um connecting to you or someone who's in your environment and of course it can't be vice versa it could be someone else experiencing this right don't know if i said that sorry i'm just really in it um you could feel that way where like your new path has been paved with an injustice. Uh, maybe you're on a new path now because you close out a cycle because you've had to deal with multiple energies that maybe weren't on your side, right? Hence closing that out, paving the new way, but out of injustice. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be honest, Capricorns, in this new cycle, it's like I don't feel like you're you're super happy. I feel like you're motivated. <laughs> I feel like you're very fucking motivated. Um, very motivated. You got a lot of energy. You're, you're just ready to go. I, I just heard Renegade. Okay, oh, God, Capricorns. So fucking intense. Um, you're just ready. You're just fucking ready to take on the news. So even the way I'm talking has changed. It's like that's the kind of energy you have. Excuse me. You have in this new cycle. But your, your path has been born out of injustice for sure. And I feel like even that motivation could just be looking for justice right? Looking for justice, looking for karmic balance, which you'll get. You will get because karma has got to close out, right? Oh, God, what was this? Other? Sorry, I just picked up another energy and then it was fleeting, like just that quickly. Crap. Yeah, like just that quickly it was gone. Damn it. <laughs> well, it's supposed to come back. It'll come back. Um, but Capricorns, I'm really curious to see where this takes you guys, especially because we have got so much Capricorn energy for the next couple months. So like everyone should be watching Capricorn readings, like without a doubt, with the new moons in Capricorn. I'll be doing a live video on it most likely on the 23rd. Today's the 21st, the day that I'm filming. Um, but Capricorn, it feels really positive. I feel like it, it's ha it happened that way for a reason, honestly. Yeah, I feel like it happened that way for a reason. So anyway, I don't want to get too sucked into it. It's a little heavy, all right? But let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. I'm using the Beautiful Creatures deck as the um, as the primary. Thought it was fitting for the energy I was feeling. Please provide me any messages for Capricorn. Ooh. Please provide me messages of truth, healing, and love for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Regarding love, please provide me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. Keep hearing emotion. Hold on. So you need to pay attention to your heart chakras. There's something going on there. And it might be this injustice I was feeling. There's something going on with your heart chakra. You have to pay attention to it. It's interesting. It's so it's like something you're you're blinded to. And I'm like, why do I feel I feel like I hear the cross watcher as well as Capricorn? <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Capricorns have a lot of emotion. They're just earth. They just don't show it like a water sign does, you know? Uh, but they've got a lot of emotion. Uh, yeah, there's something about this heart with the heart chakra. Just make sure that you're really tapping into, like, what you're feeling. I feel like with this, like, pathway paved, like, born out of injustice, you're in strategy mode. And you're not, yeah, I just, I feel like you're not tapped into your heart space. It might be because you don't want to go there. It might be that, Capricorn, because you're just, you're focused on the plan. That is very Capricorn. You get so focused on the plan, you forget about the emotional part of shit. Um, you got to pay attention to that. There's something going on there. You got to pay attention to it. Please remind me any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. Some Moon, Rising, and Jupiter. The rest of 2019. Some of you might, like, this is, oh, that's funny. They were saying, like, I was going to say, um, a bull out of the gate. That's such a weird phrase. When you're dealing with a Taurus or have that in your chart, it's interesting. Um, some of you guys might be so eager to like bulldoze down your path that's been paved with injustice that you might be missing out on some stuff here. Um, but it's funny because I can tell you're in strategy mode, but I, it feels rushed. Like it feels very fast, even for you Capricorns, because Capricorns are really good at coming up with a plan very quickly. You're the oldest earth sign. That's why you guys, you guys are really good at that. Um, but I, they, they showed me a turtle. You, you, there's a need to slow down. There's a need to slow down. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. So, yeah, your your heart chakra is like needs attending to. It's closed. It's like it it's closed or it's shutting or you're or you're disconnected from your emotional body. 
you, you got to pay attention to that. Who's importing messages of truth, like, and love for those who need it for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Keep in mind, this can be about someone else. And you guys, I can tell, are not resonating with this. It's just the messages I'm getting. Please report any messages. Well, that's too many, Spirit. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. No. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hats. Why am I getting hats? If you're having crown chakra issues, cover your head, please. <laughs> like, why are they showing me hats? I think that was it. Closing for new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. Someone, oh, there we go. <laughs> slow it down, Cappies. We have the Temperance card, Sagittarian energy. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. I, I understand you want to get up and go. I understand you want to put your plan of action into action or just start a plan and just go, 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 go. Especially for those of you kind of seeking justice. Please be very careful if you're on that vengeance path or if someone has made you so angry and upset, you start a new path, but it's out of this need to right a wrong. Just be very careful with that, Capricorn. But yeah, I'm getting slow down. Slow down. Oh, that's, that's going to be hard for you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to shake the table. Sorry. Um... Capricorns don't typically move like lightning speed because they are Earth, but they can move faster than people people think. Um, slow it down. Just slow it down. Could also be a cusper. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. Now we got a Queen of Swords. Uh -oh. Libra energy could also be air or water. Uh, Capricorns, I gotta be honest, I really feel like you guys are on that path of like... I'm going to right it wrong. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get my justice. Like, I, I can feel it. Some of you are there. Some of you are not. Some of you are still in that ring. Okay, some of you guys are still in that box and match trying to close out a cycle here. I really feel like there's more for Capricorns who have closed out that cycle and are entering the new. I really feel like you're seeking out that justice. You're seeking out what's right. You're seeking out what you feel you deserve. And there's something wrong with that. Just be careful of how you're going about it. Because some of you, I can feel, are using more of, like, your shadow in a negative way it's not not a bad thing to use dark energy as long as you're not using it in in, in a very like in a it, where are my words <laughs> there's nothing wrong with using dark energy to get shit done because it does help you get shit done just be careful how you use it just be careful how you use it and what your real motivation is what your real what's your real motivation capricorn what's your real motivation please provide me any messages of truth thing and love for those who need it for capricorn Summon Rising Venus and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. <sighs> Some of you guys, sorry, I'm picking up on a group of you. Some of you guys are so frustrated. Oh my God. Breathe it out, Capricorn. Some of you guys are really fucking frustrated and you're trying to find a balance and even then it's hard for you. Capricorns, you're an earth sign. You can ground yourself, okay? Try to ground. I had to say this in another reading. Um... I think it was the energy shift reading I did. I think, yeah, I think it was the energy reading I did. Um, watch that. It might be really important for you, but just make sure you're grounded. If you're really frustrated, just make sure you're grounded at this time. Even if you got to take a little time off. Okay, Capricorns? Okay. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. You feel like your stability's been messed with, okay? Some of you are having some issues with confidence here, and I think that's why you're kind of like just eager to get up and do shit. That's how, like, Capricorn's find confidence in that and strength in that, just getting up and doing shit. Like, but I, I'm like, I'm tapping into Capricorn, so it's like something, you've been hit in some way, shape, or form, and I can't, it's gonna be different for all of you. It could have been financially, you could have taken a financial hit. Some of you could have just been in your confidence, your stability. Maybe someone stole too much of your time. I just keep getting, they're telling me born out of injustice, born of injustice, born of injustice. They're bringing me back to that. They're bringing me back to that. You took a hit in some way, shape, or form. And it's kind of like, I'm just going to get up and do shit and, and make shit right. 
Like, I'm just gonna get up and do shit and take what I want or do what I want. Like, it, 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 it just, oh, careful with that, Capricorn. Just be careful with that. Some of you were thinking, like, the best form of uh, vengeance is living your best life, and there's nothing wrong with that. I definitely pick up on that here. But some of you guys definitely took a hit. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the rest of 2019. Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. These two cards together, this is this is insecurity and fear. I gotta be honest, Capricorn. It's insecurity and fear, and Capricorns, you hate feeling that. You hate feeling that. Capricorns will do anything to get out of that kind of a feeling, including going a little renegade on a path born of injustice, <laughs> okay? Um, I don't know who did what to you, Capricorn, but I can feel it. You took a hit and you're, some of you are just pissed off. Some of you are mad. Some of you just went into super motivated mode to like just, just get your stability back one way or another. Capricorns, I realize we're at 15 minutes. So let's just actually do your reading now. <laughs> Sorry, I always get so caught up in your readings, Cappies. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, new to Tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. They are not for everybody. They can't be for everybody. They're for thousands of people. So please take home what resonates with you and anything that doesn't, just throw it away. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Why make it yours? Don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, also, guys, keep in mind, we are working with energy, so messages can be reversed or vice versa. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Uh, this is for the rest of 2019, but time is not linear either. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, okay? This could be something that's already happened to you, something you're currently going through, or something that you will be going through. Please, again, only take home what resonates. All right, Capricorn, let's get started. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? Getting better at shuffling these cards. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? As I said that, I dropped them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? All right, that feels pretty good. Get a little water, actually. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? Let's see, we got two cards over here. Ew. Four of Wands in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. Jeez. Some of you guys might have been in an actual competition with that boxing energy I was getting. Aries energy and Leo energy right here. This does not feel good. This doesn't feel good. Uh, this feels like your, yeah, this feels like your stability took a hit. Your stability, whether, I mean, for some, it was the foundation you actually built. Some of you might have even taken a hit at work, maybe even lost your job or, was, or were demoted. Uh, some of you, it was chaos in a home, competition within family. Yeah, I'm getting that there were like people involved, like many people involved. I'm actually getting many people. It could, it could be one, but I'm feeling other energies involved in this or hearing of it. Interesting. Or hearing of it. Hearing of it. So maybe this is a relationship that's just fallen apart because of too much bickering and too much fighting. Take. I just heard taken out. Taken out. Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? Divided. Taken out and divided. You could feel like your home is divided, like the people within your home are divided. Taking, I just heard taking sides, taking sides. These are messages I'm getting from multiple people, okay? So please only make it, only, Jesus, please only take what resonates with you. Yeah, this is weird. Like for some of you, I'm almost getting an energy of like infiltrating and dividing, like infiltrating and dividing a group of people or a home environment or even a workplace environment. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? I don't like this. This feels like a snake in the grass. I don't like this. Any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? 
Jesus. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. I feel a like retreating with this. Like once the division happened, I, I'm just getting at dividing and division, taking sides. I don't I really don't like I don't like that energy at all. I really don't like that. Whenever that happened, Capricorn, or will happen, because some of this hasn't happened yet, um, a major retreat, major retreat takes place. You could need time to just kind of gather yourself. Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019? Oh, shit, that's it. We only got three cards. Over energy, we do have the, oh, very nice. We have the Hierophant, Taurian energy, and then we have strength. Leo energy. Thank goodness, Capricorn. Yeah, see, oh, there you are. I'm like, oh my god, now I'm feeling that, like, that motivation. That motivation. Um, Hierophant with the, uh, that's so weird. I almost called it the sun card. I mean, it is Leo, so maybe Leo plays a role in this for you, Cappies. Um, but strength. I mean, that's literally, like, what I'm feeling. It's that rising to the occasion. It's that motivation of, I'm just gonna get up and get shit done, right? The Hierophant, it can be faith. It can also be institution, okay? Um, it could be, um, uh, yeah, for some of you, this is all work related, standing up to the man a little bit for some of you, for some of you, that's definitely what it is. Um, yeah, others, it's your faith, your faith. that if you get up and go, you'll be fine. If you, if you just get up and get shit done and have a plan, you're going to be fine. But there's definitely a falling apart that's happened on this side. And then there's a retreating energy over here. A retreating of the emotions. There's the heart shit. There's the heart stuff, Cappies. A retreating of the emotion. Capricorn, this is like this is like a typical Capricorn defense mechanism. Like if when something bad happens or a foundation falls apart or like, you know, some kind of division happens within a group setting or a foundation, that's exactly what a Capricorn does. Like emotionally detaches or shuts down that part of them and they get busy. They get to planning, they get to working. That's exactly what it feels like is happening right here, Cappies. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's look at the Five of Wands in reverse. I'm a little scared to see what comes out. But let's look at the Five of Wands in reverse. Um, I'm going to use Radiant Wise for this one. Talk about the Five of Wands in reverse for Capricorn. Talk about the Five of Wands in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love for the rest of 2019. So I'm at the Five of Wands in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Ooh, Cappies. <laughs> you you might have made an executive decision to let something fall apart. You first, yeah, for some of you that's the case. For some of you, you saw something wasn't working or something was just gonna get worse and worse and worse, and you retreated. Talk about five of wands in reverse. Talk about five of wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Nine of swords in reverse. Gemini energy. Oh, Lord, the stress of this. Jesus. There's definitely some kind of like competitive energy, rivalry energy, could even be gossiping. It could be people coming after you or like just bickering within a foundation, a home, uh, an environment that was so stressful that you just, yeah, I really feel like you, you retreated yourself. You were just like, I can't, I'm not going to deal with the stress of this. I won't tower on the bottom. I'm not going to deal with the stress of this. Talk about the five of wands in reverse for Capricorn. And again, this could be between you and another person. It doesn't have to be a group, but a lot of you, I do feel like it's a group situation, like a family situation. Time of five of wands in reverse. Yikes. Seven of wands, Leo energy, and then the five of cups in reverse, scorpionic energy. It, it really feels very aggressive. It feels very aggressive. Um... And the dividing. Yeah, I can't get past the dividing. I feel like these are two different energies. And I feel like something came in between or someone. For some of you, it was a person or an external energy that literally came in and divided the foundation, divided the group, divided the partnership. While one person was in their headspace more, the other person was in their emotional body more. But I really feel like whatever this this was or how it came to a head... You, you you are just trying to detach yourself emotionally here. 
Yeah, you're trying to detach yourself emotionally to, to just be able to, to move on and, and get shit done. But you're motivated to because of how this happened. Jesus. Time of five of wands in reverse. Time of five of wands in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Yeah, oh my God. Stressful. Ten of wands, Sag energy. It was too much of a burden. Okay, Capricorns. <laughs> it was not efficient to hold on to this burden. Some of you guys are thinking about it like that. Time of five of wands in reverse. It was costing you too much energetically or with your time. It was costing you something important. Time of five of wands in reverse. Overall energy, we have, ooh, we've got three of wands, Aries energy. Oh, knight of cups, five of swords. Holy shit, a magician in reverse. Oh, Capricorns, I do not like this energy. Three of wands with the knight of cups, which is Pisces, could also be a... Uh, that's interesting to say air, water, or fire. So it could be able to air sign cover in your chart. With the five of swords and magician in reverse, it's like someone was expecting an apology. Like apologies were expected, but this energy, five of swords and magician in reverse, hell to the fucking no. <laughs> right? Look at that. Five of swords and the magician in reverse. That is like, that is trickstery, manipulative energy. That is like low vibe, egotistical, tip for tap bullshit. Either this energy expect, did this energy expect the apology? This is why I think you, you pulled away Capricorn because it was just like, I'm not gonna deal with this energy. I don't wanna deal with that energy. I, I feel like that's how you guys were. I don't wanna deal with that bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, Capricorn. But someone expected it. Someone expected an apology. And I feel like, yeah, I really feel like this energy expected an apology and you were like, retract, retreat, not dealing with this. Not dealing with this. Yeah, it just seems very burdensome. Very burdensome. Oh boy. Let's look at the four of wands in reverse. I need gilded for this one. Talking about four of wands in reverse. I just heard Aries. Talking about four of wands in reverse for Capricorn. Regarding love for the rest of 2019. Talking about four of wands in reverse. By the way, I want to point out Ten of Wands indicating the ending of a cycle here, okay? Yeah, for some of you who are still in that boxing match, the last round, I think, is going to be the hardest part of this cycle. Time out Four of Wands in reverse. For Capricorn, regarding love for the rest of 2019. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Oh, man. You've lost faith in the foundation. Whenever this happened, I feel, oh, was, God, this is such a weird feeling because for some, I just feel like there was like a snake slithery manipulative energy that came in and divided, like intentionally divided and then hope was lost after that. Others, I feel like it was between you and another person and it's just like, it just got so bad. Like the fighting got so bad, the fighting got so low, low vibe or one person got so low vibe. And you were just like, this is this is too much. I can't. Like, this is too much. I can't. This is too much between us. I can't. I have no more faith in, in this foundation. I got to cut my losses. If this is a battle between you and yourself, I honestly don't think it is. But if, if it is, if that's resonating with you, um, you're really battling uh, some real, like, some real heavy shadow work. You were doing some real heavy shadow work with this. Triggers that make you want to lash out at people. I'm getting jealousy. I'm getting jealousy and envy. Boundaries. And um, and issues or tr issues or woundings around boundaries being crossed. All right. Time over the four of wands in reverse. Time over the four of wands in reverse. Oh, sorry, my piercings. Talk about four of wands in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Yeah, full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarian energy because it's Uranus. Yeah, no more faith in this. No more faith in this. Not worth the investment, not worth time. Immature, very immature too. Talk about four of wands in reverse. Talk about four of wands in reverse for Capricorn. Time before ones in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Wow. 
there's the fire. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, could also be earth or water with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. There's that fire. There's that motivation. There's that drive to go on the path that was born in, of injustice. <laughs> born of injustice. And we have the Queen of, and with the Page of Swords here, there's an energy of watching, but also understanding that that's what you want. You have to look forward towards the future here. But I feel like the person, the other party or parties are watching you, watching your move, watching your moves, watching your moves, waiting and watching what your moves are. Yeah, see, that's more of that energy. Like that is so, like, like literally this person is watching as like the other one's walking away, literally watching like, what are they going to do next? Overall energy? Yeah. Seven of swords in reverse. Just, just walking away from it. Walking away from it. I'm curious what this, I'm curious what this fighting's about. I like, I feel like it's different for everybody. Yeah, I feel like it's different for everybody. Some of you really were dealing with an external energy that came in and divided a foundation and they're very pleased with themselves about it. Um, I'm going to look at the Seven of Swords in reverse and use Lenormand deck for this one. Ooh, or should I use Kipper? No, we'll use Kipper. Kipper's calling me more. Ooh, that was weird. A little vertigo. Tell me about... I did that in the partner reading too. I like grabbed it upside down. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. So we have child, energy of 18. So like I said, I did hear immaturity, so that could be what that's alluding to. Or something that's precious, something that's valuable. Something that's valuable. So we have a seven of swords in reverse. So I have a seven of swords in reverse. So I have a seven of swords in reverse. Ooh, we've got wealthy man here. Play more with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Could have been doing the very immature masculine energy here. Now you have the energy of pathway. So going on a new path, literally. Heading in the right direction. Also a timeline of two years from now or two years ago. Or two years could be at play here for some of you, if that's resonating. Play with Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Yikes. Overall, we do have the thief. An energy of lot losing something or something being taken. Message of concern. Then we've got journey. And then we have the mature man here. Okay, so... Someone either stole something, took something, or something was lost because someone just couldn't deal with it anymore. I like I just keep getting something was taken or there was a threat of something being taken. Or a threat a threat of losing something. I feel like someone was on their path to maybe becoming abundant or like having opportunity. Um Having a precious opportunity for something. Promising future. Thank you. Promising future. Ew. Yeah. That might. Oh. That is what it is for some of you. Someone had a promising future. And the other person or the other group or the rest of the group couldn't handle it. Like that's definitely for one. Others are. There's this. I keep getting this energy of like of stealing. This is weird. Like someone's finding out about theft. If you know that that's your story, you know that's your story for sure. But these are more details um, beyond like the main energy that I was telling you guys about. But like I said, what take just take what resonates. Some of these details had to come out to confirm for people um, what they needed to be what they needed confirmed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I am getting that promising future pretty hard pretty hard wow okay and it also could have been like whatever you were building maybe you're building a business right four wands can be that right and maybe it was going to be very promising and people didn't like that or another person didn't like that it could also be that or it could have just been a relationship that was very promised that had a very promising future hence the wanting to dismantle that either way you're on a new path and it's it's 
paved with injustice, okay? So that looks like the Knight of Cups in reverse, that retraction of um, emotions that going into like cap hardcore Capricorn motivated mode. Let's go ahead and look at the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm, let me just write a wait for this one. Actually, no, that was weird, no. No. Use crystal visions for this one. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Play about Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Play about Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Let's see here. Yeah, Four of Swords, Libra Energy. So like I said, for some of you just might need a little time out. Uh, to gain some understanding of how to move forward. But I, I really feel like in this Four of Swords energy, you really need to be there to also heal, okay? And to get back into touch with your emotional body here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Three of Wands, Aries energy with the Six of Wands, victory. You're looking for victory. You're looking ahead. And you're like, that's what's motivating you, Capricorn. Like I said, like that justice, that victory, that like, I'm just going to get up and go and be, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> Such a Capricorn move. I want to be fine. <laughs> That's what's on your mind. I'm going to get up, I'm going to go and be fine. <laughs> just be sure you tap into your emotional bodies, Capricorns, okay? Some of you guys are going to go MIA first before you get up and go and do that. Oh, that's why they're watching you, Capricorn. That's why they're watching you to, for your moves, what move you're going to make. Because um, you are going into a little bit of MIA mode. In order to think about it, to look ahead, look into that little crystal ball that she's got going on of how you can be victorious and how you can move forward. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse. Talk about Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love for the rest of 2019. Oh, yeah, Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. It's okay to feel it, Capricorn. And like I said, it is important to take that time out and that Four of Swords energy to get back in touch with your emotional body after you've retreated yourself from the situation here. Because Five of Cups, there's an emotional loss. It's an emotional loss. More than anything, it is emotional. For some of you, it is definitely like financial or tangible, like pentacle related. Um, but you, you want to be victorious in this and you want to look ahead and you want to be okay. You got to deal with this first. So I've not... I love you, Capricorns. I don't really want to. <laughs> so I have a Knight of Cups in reverse. So I have a Knight of Cups in reverse for Capricorn regarding love the rest of 2019. Woo! King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. I don't feel like this is your energy. I don't feel like you're this King of Swords. I feel like this is someone that you lost in the process. Yeah, I feel like this is someone you lost in the process, Capricorn. It's, yeah, that's the emotional loss. It's someone you lost in the process. Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra. I don't know if I said that. Over energy, we do have two of wands. Aries energy of where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Death card. Scorpionic energy. Having a little bit of a death process here, which would make sense, Capricorn, that you have to go into the four of swords energy to deal with this this five of cups, right? To deal with that emotional loss and then to be victorious about it and then move forward on whatever your new path is that was paved with injustice. It requires a death process, okay? It requires letting these emotions creep in, feeling it, accepting it, and then understanding it. And once you accept and understand loss, and sadness and all of that it tend you tend to heal and then you tend to be okay and then you get to go into your rebirthing process right yeah take the time capricorn take the time i really urge you to that's why they want you to slow down slow down and take the time to address your emotions first and then get going again for some of you if you don't address these emotions you actually won't be able to think very not straight but like you won't be very strategic it'll be hard for you to be strategic if you don't for some of you it will cloud your judgment I don't know if I said that before. That sounds familiar. It will cloud your judgment if you don't deal with it. Okay. Hey, Cappies. All right. So let's get some Oracle cards. Let's do the Goddess deck. What energies will be beneficial for my Capricorns to harness regarding this spread?
what energies will be beneficial for my Capricorn to harness regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Capricorns to harness regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Capricorns to harness regarding this spread? What energies will be beneficial for my Capricorns to harness regarding this spread? Oh, that's interesting. Um, who else got this? I just did it today. Aries. Aries got this one as well. Um, and then we also have, oh, Anya. <laughs> that's what it is. Anya, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Use that fire. Use that motivation. Just use it in the right way, in a healthy way, a balanced way. Damara, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. You could have a child, Capricorn. Definitely not going to be for all of you. For some of you, this is part of your purpose moving forward. Any other energies that will benefit my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other energies that will benefit my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. And on the bottom we have... Ooh, Sedna, infinite supply. Oh my God, I'm loving the, oh, I'm loving the energy off this card. This feels really good. Infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Oh, interesting, the whales. Mm. Sorry, I got really drawn into the whales there. That was a personal confirmation for me for something. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and read these off. Okay. We'll go in alphabetical order. Anya, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Procrastinating about your dreams won't make them go away. Neither will it make them happen. Indecision is the death. Death? Death. With the two of wands, indecision on occasion, right? That's so interesting. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Indecision is the death of the soul's burning passion to improve grow and learn oh cappies don't worry about making a wrong decision instead worry about making no decision at all then take time to pray meditate investigate research go on nature walks and make your decision once made the universal energies will immediately support your decision and doors will successfully open as if by magic the magic you see is that you set your mind to accomplish something and this intention is what sets you on your magical journey trust that the universe will support you in all ways trust that your intention is clear and write for you and then take a leap of faith and jump fully and squarely into the midst of putting your dreams into action don't hesitate or delay a moment longer your dream will come true your chosen path is the right one for you heaven supports you fully on your mission your material needs will be taken care of take action steps towards the realization of your dream break your dream into achievable baby steps so that's easier to start and keep going anya is a powerful celtic goddess and fairy queen who gave birth to incarnated fairies from her romances with mortal men anya is revered in ireland for helping to grow crops and oversee animals you can call upon anya when you need additional guidance and the courage to take risks very nice cappies um i feel like you're going full steam ahead but like i said the energy of kind of like slow down because some of you aren't dealing with the emotional stuff the emotional loss there um and that might cloud a little bit of your judgment you also might be going just a little too fast you might miss something important so it's okay to take that leap of faith just make sure you're considering everything right all right so let's go into damara Okay. Damara, guiding children. You're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. One can be gentle and a fierce protector simultaneously. Uh, my, vigilant fo my vigilant focus on keeping harmony within households stems from my desire for children to maintain their youthful awe and sense of wonder. How else will we ensure that they'll see and speak with the fairies? How else will we foster the co continuation of children's healing laughter? Join with me in guiding the children and you'll see your own imagination sparked by these amazing young beings. Your own enthusiasm and youthful spirit attracts the children's respect and attention. I'll lead you toward young people who can benefit from your help. Spend time with 
or have a heart to heart converse, a heart to heart talk with your own children. Get into a career involved with helping kids. Volunteer with young people. Know that children will be coming into your life soon. You will be a parent. Take care of your own child through play and laughter. A Celtic fertility goddess whose name means gentle, Damara helps to bring peace and harmony to families and within households. She helps children maintain their youthful innocence and faith. Damara is happy to guide you with respect to the best way to help children, yours or someone else's. Well, like I said, that one's definitely not for everybody. Very specific on the child front there. All right, let's see. Sedna. It's going to make a second video soon. I'm like, I want to catch it. I want to catch it. <laughs> oh, well. So Sedna, infinite supply. You were supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. This is an abundant universe filled with more than enough for everyone. Yet the energy format of this planet is about polarities. For, the instant, for this instance... Uh, it's about giving and receiving. The key is to balance the two. If you only give, you'll feel drained, resentful, and experience lack. If you only receive, you won't enjoy what you have. Balance comes from fearlessly giving as you're guided and then receiving with joy and gratitude. It's exactly like breathing. Both the, inha both the inhale and exhale are identically important. Practice giving and receiving daily. And you'll never want for anything. Don't worry about the future. Know that you'll always... Hold on. Know that you'll always have enough to eat. Your needs will always be provided for. Spend time at the ocean. Swim with the dolphins. Move to a beach or island community. Go swimming, sailing, or surfing. Give time, excuse me, or money to a cause that protects the ocean. She's the Inuit Eskimo. I'm sorry if I pronounce, if, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, guys. So sorry. She's the Inuit Eskimo and Alaskan goddess of the sea who provides sustenance for the body and the soul. The tips of her fingers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, damn it. I made a second video. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sudna lost the tips of her fingers in a tragic boat accident and the digits transformed into whales, seals, and other sea creatures. Oh, I kind of like that. As a result, Sedna is intimately connected with the ocean's inhabitants. Call upon her for plentiful supplies, especially for your family. Sedna can also help you with any ocean-related ventures, including interacting with whales and dolphins. She's very appreciative of those who give time, money, and efforts to protect the sea and its creatures. Very nice, Cappies. I love it. All right, Cappies, let's get into the spirit animal deck and then we'll wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that could have been um, part of what had disintegrated this foundation. There might have been too much taking or too, like, too much taking. I, like, I feel like it's taking. There might have been too much taking there. Not enough equal reciprocity, okay? And maybe that's just a lesson for some of you to learn. Come on. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Any advice from my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice from my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, that's too many, Spirit. That's too many. That's too many. Any advice from my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice from my Capricorns? here oh stag spirit take the lead i like it <laughs> i mean you are doing that capricorn you're definitely doing that like you're not afraid of going there but like i said just make sure that you're doing it in a smart way and in a balanced way we even had balance coming in a lot with that infinite supply right make sure you're doing it in a balanced way and you'll be totally fine and make sure you're doing it strategically okay any other advice for my capricorns regarding this spread Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns? Oh, okay. Capricorn, sorry. I'm getting a little bit of a download. Some of you guys might find out that you're Pragers, okay? 
this has become up a lot for people and pregnancy vibrations cannot they're not just about like actual pregnancy it's also about um like the pregnancy of ideas to birth something right so that could definitely be for some of you but some of you are definitely finding out that um that you're pregnant and you might decide to go at it single to go jesus to be a single parent <laughs> Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Yeah, especially with strength in the hair font. Yeah. Oh, very nice. We only got one other card. Overall energy is freedom is yours, Capricorn. Oh, with peacock spirit underneath there. I love it. I really love seeing that for you guys. Yeah, you're not being afraid to go there, right? To go on your new path, even if it was born of injustice. And however that injustice transpired for you is going to be different for all of you. But this is a lot of strength. This is a lot of strength, a lot of resilience, and you're not a, you're not afraid. I love that you're not afraid, Capricorn, and you're just gonna fucking own it. And you're like, look how alpha these cards are, Jesus. Look at how strong and alpha those cards are. You're gonna be just fine. Just remember to be strategic about this, okay? And you're gonna be okay. So Capricorns, like I said, I felt like it was gonna be a very empowering reading, and it is. It's very empowering. You're gonna go into something brand new for some of you. That is gonna be single parenthood, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, others of you, you might try to build a business of some kind, but either way, it's brand new. You're out of that awful cycle. You're out of that tough situation. And it looked like it was horrible. I mean, it looked like the end of it was very, very stressful. And those who are still in it, the end is going to be a little rough. But once you come out of it, you're going to be really motivated. Just make sure you take the time out. Where are those cards? To deal with the emotional loss of it. All right, and then you can charge forward. All right, Capricorns. I hope you guys enjoy your birthday and the holidays and have a really great end to your, uh, end to your year, excuse me. And I hope you guys have a really good night and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.